Hi, I'm Malcolm. And I'm Rachel. We're two Canadians living on our 39-foot main ship trawler, living an adventure of a lifetime. We invite you to follow along as we travel 6,000 miles through Canadian and U.S. waterways around America's Great Loop. Just leaving Blind River Marina and it's a beautifully calm day. The sun is out and the seas are flat. It's so awesome. We're making a run for Thessalon which is only about a three and a half hour trip uh, but we decided we're not going to go along the North Shore too quickly. We want to stop and see these little places and enjoy the journey as we go. Hope you're having a great day. very little wind today there still is a somewhat significant amount of swell from the winds yesterday and so we're going up and down a bit but it's just a swell it's not waves due to fetch Thessalon is a town of about 1,200 on the north shore of Lake Huron and is part of the Algoma district. The main industries are timber and tourism. We took a walk around the town. Many shops are closed, but the local hardware store and grocery store were well equipped. There were areas with large rock with buildings built around them. This is the Thessalon River. A little cenotaph. Little about its history is recorded before lumbermen arrived in 1869. According to an area historian, the town's name may be lost in time, but the First Nations people called the area Nayashawan, meaning point of land. He speculates this term may have been paraphrased to Thessalon as it appears on a 1670 map, and finally Thessalon in 1880. Thessalon's marina has some nice green space and is protected by the point with the old lighthouse. Today, all that remains of the lighthouse is photographs and memories. It was a square wooden structure painted white with the lantern rising from the center of the roof and visible from 10 miles away. You 
Just got some bikes from the marina. We're gonna bike out to the lighthouse. Should be a fun ride. Two generations of Harvey family manned the lighthouse over 52 years. Mr. Harvey passed away in 1911, and Mrs. Harvey became keeper for more than 40 years. It was permanently discontinued in 1961. Captains who regularly traveled the lake referred to Mrs. Harvey as the brave little lady of the light, and she is credited with saving man many a ship from hitting the rocks and shoals of the North Channel. We just left Thessalon Marina and just going around the point where the lighthouse used to be. You can sort of see it there in the distance. And uh, we're hoping for smooth waters as we head to an anchorage close to Sault Ste. Marie. Today there are some swells just like yesterday, but it's so much more comfortable because it's coming from the east and we're traveling with the wind, we're going west. Yesterday I was trying to work on the computer and shouldn't have been doing that while we were traveling and all that motion and it was feeling a little bit green after a while, but today it's so flat with the swell like going along with it, it's just so much easier to deal with and walk around the boat. So a report from the bridge today, we are uh, traveling and following seas and the wind is behind us. So unlike yesterday, it's really smooth. It's very, very comfortable. Yesterday things were bouncing and creeping, so it's a welcome change. We're going um, to an anchorage today. We just left um, the marina. And it's not a long trip today, um, but we're going up the St. Joseph Channel. We're going to be anchoring somewhere close to Sault Ste. Marie on the Canadian side. And let's hope it's a nice quiet anchorage. I think it will be. And we'll uh, Hopefully enjoy our time there. And that's just a staging area for where we think we're going to dip our nose into Lake Superior. I'm not sure when, but that's hopefully what's going to happen. So that's the report from the bridge. St. Joseph's Island over there. The other side of St. Joseph's Island, uh, you'll be able to see the United States. So we're getting very close to the United States now, but still continuing on the Canadian side.
left Thessalon this morning and we've arrived at our destination, which is an anchorage uh, just off St. Joseph River. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's, uh, as you can see, it's really, really sunny. The, as you may or may not have seen from the, uh, from the bridge report, the waves were really uh, very comfortable. It was all following seas and following winds. So uh, a really nice trip to get here. And hopefully the sun will stay out for a little bit longer and we can enjoy exploring some by dinghy as well. Hope you're having a great day.